our channel. I hope you're all well and having a great day. Today we're going to speak about the Newcastle United news, but before we get to that, could you just do me a massive favour and please consider to subscribe to my channel. It would help me loads. It doesn't cost anything. It's free, completely free. So if you could do me a massive favour, smash that button down below, that would be great. Also give the video a like, that would be fantastic. Get to my channel more recognised on YouTube and you do me a massive favour, so thank you. Let's get the news, people. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Newcastle v Liverpool preview at Anfield, which kicks off tomorrow night. Yeah, it's going to be a hard game, isn't it? When you look at it, we look at them, um, they've just spanked Bournemouth 9-0. Um, at the weekend, uh, this morning's opened my eyes, not long ago, about 20 minutes ago, Scott Parker has been sacked by Bournemouth after that horrendous 9-0 thrashing. And also what we're going to speak about is a few transfer news of Newcastle United. Um, so yeah, people, let's get into it. Air to Newcastle, v Liverpool, the preview at Anfield tomorrow night. It's on BT Sport. Um, Liverpool just were ramping 9-0 winners at the weekend. Scott Park has just been sacked by Bournemouth not long ago, literally about 10 minutes ago. Sky Sports News, he's sacked. But yeah, Liverpool didn't start the season that well. Um, they weren't doing that well. They're drawing a few games, but actually were above them in the league, even though it was a couple of games. They've spanked Bournemouth 9 0 Anfield, so it's not the very best time to play them after they just, they just want the team they have because they'll be on it shit hot um, for the game against Newcastle, so it'll be a very, very hard game. If Newcastle get anything down there, I'll be surprised. But um, you never know. We'll pull off a draw against Wolves. Why can't we go to Anfield and cause an upset? I'll be happy with a 1 1 draw, something like that, or 0 0, anything. And um, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, it looks like Callum Wilson is still going to be injured. He's going to be out. Um, Bruno looks like he's still out. And I'm not sure about Alan St. Maximin after his hamstring. He came off um, late in the game against Wolves, holding his hamstring. Um, also Trippy as well, he had a bit of a hamstring problem that game as well so we'll have to wait and see the fitness of the levels of the players for tomorrow night hopefully we've got Bruno back, you know what I mean, I hope so I think Callum Wilson will miss out um, on the Liverpool side, they're just deadly you know that Lewis Diaz they've got, he's a really good talent after Marnie left for Bayern Munich um, Salah, Firmino, the list goes on, you know they're absolutely unbelievable Darwin Nunes you know, so they'll be a threat tomorrow night, of course, as they are. But yeah, I'll be happy with a draw. Getting anything at Anfield is a, is, a, is, a, is a fantastic result, you know what I mean? Otherwise, the teams will probably be the same. Um, Newcastle are full of confidence after still being unbeaten for the four games they've had in the Premier League. Um, transfer deadline day is literally on Thursday night, 11pm, slam shut. So we'll be busy in the market. I'm sure very, very active to bring in at least two more players to the club, probably midfield and a right winger, I would have thought. But yeah, let's get into some transfer news now. Martin Dubravka is close to signing for Manchester United um, on a loan deal with an obligation to buy if he gets a certain amount of appearances for Manchester United, then that'll trigger that, um, that fee. To what they're going to pay for him but one thing I don't get about Dubravka is he didn't want to play second fi fiddle to Nick Pope but he's going to be playing second fiddle to David De Gea so I don't understand it I believe that he was very unhappy when Pope come in and Eddie Howe doesn't want unhappy players so he's told them to show them the door and you know I like Dubravka he done really well for it but at the end of the day it's football it's business and um, it is what it is I wish to breath all the best, you know, at Manchester United and hope he has a great career, you know. And he's, I'll never forget the games after Newcastle United. He's been absolutely superb for us. So, yeah, good luck to you, Martin, and um, all the best. Now, I want to go on something I saw yesterday. I saw that Ross Barkley has terminated his contract at Chelsea, basically ripped his contract up and he's a free agent. Would Newcastle United go in for Barkley, knowing that they didn't get James Madison because he cost 50 million? Newcastle won't pay that. Will we go in for Ross Barkley? I know a few views on this channel before put comments saying you don't like Barkley, he's lazy, etc. But if we can get the form he was at Everton, why wouldn't you have him on a free transfer and take a risk? It makes total sense. I'd have Ross Barkley at the moment in time. I'd give him a chance. And I believe Eddie Howe could make him a fantastic player yet again and get his confidence back like he was at Everton a few years back now when he was scoring loads of goals. 
but also I've heard Everton are interested in him. Um, and so he will be the scout size from there. He used to play for them. I think Everton will be the favourites for him, and then possibly us. And I'm sure a couple of other clubs will be sniffing around him for a free transfer, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, so, yeah, and there's also the Chelsea midfielder, I can't pronounce his name, ba Bapa Yuko or something like that, um, who's actually on a two year loan at um, Milan right now. Chelsea don't want him, I've heard that we want him, and I've heard that we're going to try and put a bid in for him. I don't know if it's going to be a fee or a loan, but yeah, we'll have to keep eyes on that one. Don't know much about him, but I think he's a whole midfielder, kind of midfielder, and that's what we need. Um, so, yeah. Uh, has that one got legs? Possibly. We'll have to wait and see. 48 hours left the transfer window. Anything can happen. We all know that. Um, I just hope that the Bruno injury is an injury and it's not like Real Madrid turning his head with his 100 million bid I heard in the media last week. Because that's the last thing we want to do is lose Bruno. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that one as well. Um, hopefully he's back soon as possible and um, playing for Newcastle United again. And hopefully the window slams shut. We've still got Bruno. So yeah, people, I think I've covered most of what I was going to talk about today. Um, let me know what you think about this video underneath in the comments. Also, who would you like Newcastle United to sign before the window slams shut? And also, what's your predictions for Newcastle away at Liverpool tomorrow night? Thank you for watching, people. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one.